Hey, y'all, it's Spiritual Life Code 43, and I'm here to give you the month of December, your 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. Please do come right on in and join us. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much joy, forever happiness, success, love, harmony, prosperity, all that good stuff. Welcome, welcome back. You guys are so awesome, Scorpios. If you are a cross watcher, I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us here. Please remember that when it comes to any type of readings, that it's important that you guys connect to the messages and the energy, okay, that you correlate with that. Do not take anything that doesn't resonate. Only focus on what does resonate and take that as you choose, okay, according to your own free will. Always first and foremost, go to our Heavenly Father God, your beautiful, amazing, awesome angels, ancestors, your guides, your spiritual teams and families, Jesus Christ, of course, your loved ones in heaven on the other side and your entire spiritual teams, they will give you your most important guidance. Please listen to it and always do what you guys feel is best. Listen to your intuitions. That inner knowing, that gut feeling is going to lead you down the right path. Please trust it and believe in yourself. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. You guys are so wonderful about keeping my channel going and growing. Scorpios, I cannot do it without you guys. You guys keep me happy, and I just appreciate all the love and light and support, the cool comments and compliments. I read them as much as possible, so thank you so much for the love and support. I am sending all that back to you times a billion fold. Okay, Scorpios, if anybody wants to go the extra mile, I do have PayPal information and PO Box information listed in the description box below. Just below this video, there's the Heart Shape Super Thanks, so if you guys want to donate that way, I appreciate you guys in advance. Thank you. If you guys don't know, I am, of course I do tarot, but I'm also a life coach and I do have my life coaching advice line available. If you guys want to ask about romance, relationships, if you guys want to give me a scenario about what's going on and have a question to go with it, you guys can do that. Um, I do have a payment plan and all that stuff. I have a payment, you know information listed in the description box below for those who are interested. So feel free to read it and check it out as you wish. Okay. Everything has been prayed and meditated on. I will shout out the decks. I, I've been telling other readings, you know, for the other Zodiacs that the decks are listed in the description box because they always have been. But because I do have the advice line available now, I have that information. So if you guys want to know the decks, email me and I'll, I'll let you know which, which ones they are and who they're by to the best of my ability. I totally have forgot about that. But anyways, let's jump into your reading. I want to say Merry Christmas. I hope that your Christmas is happy, jolly, and cheerful. Hope that the food is delicious and that you guys have the most awesome time with your family members and friends. Spread love, spread love and light and enjoy the festivities, the fun, the activities, whatever whatever you guys do, wherever you are, just do it big, be safe, and make some awesome, amazing memories. Take some pictures and laugh and enjoy the company of those that you love. It's all about giving and receiving, and when you give, you actually will receive, so be blessed. All right, let's jump into your reading. We're going to start with the Love and Light deck by... Doreen Virtue, the Empress of Tarot. We love her very, very much. Her energy is always heavy in the tarot community. She's incredible. You guys have the message, embrace adventure in your life, Scorpio. So from the Bible, Matthew chapter 19, verse 14, it says, Jesus said, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to those who are like these children. So Spirit is asking you guys to be more playful, to kind of set yourself free, play some board games, run. Somebody needs to just find a merry-go-round and spin. Somebody needs to go to the park and spin in that turtle thing or climb or just get on a swing. Go to the ice cream truck like a big kid that you are and just smile and laugh and enjoy. Go to the park. Go do what kids like to do. Swing, jump rope, dance, listen to music, dance with kids or you know, enjoy your grandkids or kids if you have them or nieces and nephews or just be around kids, maybe get some toys and, you know, give to like a toy drive or give back to the church or something like that. Do something kind for the kids and let your inner child explore and play and definitely focus on the now. Open your heart 
and kind of release that inner child. Like let that little inner child jump on the bed, roll around on the floor, be free. Okay. Go bake some cookies and, you know, use everything that you already have and make something new, make goulash or, you know, you know, something, you know, I said what goulash is when you just make something and end up being good, but you didn't know it would be. So, you know, just have fun. Like when you were kids and you make things and remember the old mud pies and stuff like that, just enjoy, but it don't have to be a mud pie. It could be a real one or, you know, plant a flower or, you know, look at the birds, do some bird watching or, you know, see if you guys can follow a butterfly. I don't know. Do something fun and playful. Let your inner child roam free. Embrace adventure and fun. Do something that makes you just feel alive. Okay. You deserve that. Also from Doreen Virtue, this is from the Romance Angels deck, very popular deck. You guys have attraction. So this lady here is smelling the roses. It says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Spirit wants you guys to enjoy the present, the now, more moments, find time to just grasp onto and hold it dear and enjoy it. Smell the roses. Count your blessings. See the good in life. Remind yourself of happy thoughts, happy memories. Some of you guys need to watch your favorite funny movie. Go back and watch those old, you know, Charlie Brown and old school cartoons and, um, you know, Mickey Mouse and maybe watch the Christmas story, read a children's book or something. Do something that's awesome and amazing for yourself, but enjoy the moments. It is making you very attractive when you just let that inner light shine through because you're happy and at peace and you are just really fully involved in the moment of just high vibrations, okay? So take some time to look around and appreciate things and smell the roses and just appreciate all that you have and there, there's always so much to be grateful for every day. God is amazing at all times. Okay, let's get your formation to start the C. I don't plan to read any cards in reverse. This is by the Ascending Life Oracle deck, the one I'm touching now, and it's by Maruka X. Please, Spirit, come through as you always do for the zodiac sign of Scorpio for the month of December, year 2022. The first card represents you guys. The second card represents the change that you guys will see happening next. The third card represents... What is going to trigger this change to happen next? The fourth card represents the action or guidance that you guys can take from spirit, of course, as you choose. You guys have free will. Please exercise it and do what you guys feel is best. It also represents advice. The fifth card represents what's happening with coworkers, neighbors, family members, relatives, romantic interests, exes, people you know, children, spouses, could also be you. So take it how it resonates. The sixth card represents the outcome of the spread. I always start with the bottom of the deck. As it represents the overall energy for Scorpio, you guys have business. Be very business minded is what I'm hearing at this time. So making some positive career moves. This might involve travel for you guys, or um, I'm hearing exploring another city. This also could involve, you know, working online, like an online business through the internet. So this is good. So becoming a true entrepreneur, businessman, businesswoman, putting in those hours and doing it the way you want it done. Cause I feel like you guys want creative control and that's beautiful. So you're going to have career success and you guys going to work on it. And I do feel like it's going to build and you guys going to come up with something, something amazing. Okay. So it's going to help you guys earn more money and um, it's going to be something you enjoy. So whatever ideas that you guys have, start putting them to you, start building. Okay. Get your products together, take pictures, um, look into, you know, anybody who is entrepreneur, who can give you advice, experts, look into website and web designers and stuff like that so that you guys can get what you want done. But um, you guys are about to get down to business. A lot of you guys had a dream of um, having your own business and I feel like it's going to take off. You guys just have to start, utilize the materials that you have and keep going forward. You know, it's a learning process, but I feel like every step you take, Every move you make, you'll get closer to achieving the overall goal of that high success. And that's where you're headed. That's where you're headed. Let's see what's representing you guys at this time. Contracts. Yeah, you guys could be signing a business contract soon. So something involved either, you know, on the job. Could be through court as well. Or with some kind of like business partnership or something. Some of you guys will partner with somebody. I feel like um, you're going to make an agreement. 
some of you guys are going to have an agreement between friends or between two parties, closing out contracts with people. This also could be a life soul contract. So get ready to sign some papers, especially when you guys are doing business. Make sure that if you need a lawyer that you get one. If you have questions, please ask before you sign on that dotted line. You want to try to get everything right as possible and just do the best you can to keep going. Believe in yourself and um, you're going to make something really official. So getting things patented, getting ideas patented and make sure that you guys get recognized for your hard work, your diligence and your effort and getting paid for all the hours and time that you guys put in into your products as well. So get ready to sign some signatures. Okay. Some paperwork will need your attention. So get ready for a flood of that. It's going to come in, especially like through emails. You guys may have to fax some things or scan some things. So get ready for that. Check your emails often. Ask questions, like I said, before you sign anything, get clarification, know what you're signing and talk to other people, get some opinions, see what's going on, especially business experts, especially when it comes to business. You want things right as possible because so many things have loopholes and could go wrong, but we want to focus on blessings, positivity and good things manifest everything being well and good and great. What's coming in next for you, Scorpio's children. I love it. This energy is all over. It's just all up in your reading. You guys started with everything about embracing adventure and being childlike, and now children is here. So you guys want to raise your children to be really good people, to be smart and educated, to be business smart, okay? To have good business sense, and you will. I feel like um, some of you guys may want to add on to your family, or you're going to feel very close to family in this season of your lives. You want to spend more time with your kids and making sure that I'm here for some of you guys, you guys properly potty train and making sure that kids go to school, you know, maybe preschool or head start or making sure that, you know, you stay on top of their grades. And it's so cool these days because you guys get to check their grades every day if you want or weekly through the portal. Stay on that at least weekly so that they don't fall behind. These kids are so lucky. So many of them now get to like makeup work and complete missing assignments where we didn't have that wiggle room and I didn't have the extra cushion growing up, but it's, it's kind of nice how parents can still, you know, keep the eyes on kids and, you know, not have to hover too much, but still be in the know, know what's going on. So you guys definitely want to be very involved with your children in their growth and seeing them just grow up to be their best. You're going to implement all the knowledge, the skills and the lessons that you've learned. And this is going to really help them to be wholesome and grounded. Okay. So, you know, enjoy laughing with them, tickling them and just having fun with them. So you guys are going to spend a lot of time with kids. Somebody around you could be really immature too as well, like emotionally immature. They may have immature behavior and this could be an adult as well. So just kind of be on the lookout with this person. Continue to be the bigger person. Continue to be the bigger person. It's not always easy when you're dealing with immature adults, but I feel like um, if you have kids with this person or you guys share family or something like this, some kind of tie, I feel like you're going to focus on the kids because you love the children and they definitely love you too. You guys are awesome moms and dads, awesome parents, and you're very smart. Your kids see that in you. So some of you guys are going to help a kid in this season or... um donate to a, a children's fund or maybe prepare your kids for college or something like that. But I feel like you guys are going to be helping or working with children as well. So that's beautiful. Some of you guys could even um, be exploring adoption or there could be a pregnancy coming up. So congratulations for whoever that is. And if you guys explore adoption or surrogacy, whatever you choose to do, I hope all goes well and you guys just live the dream that you really want. What's going to trigger this change you guys have marriage, love and marriage on your mind. You guys are very business and family minded at this time is what I'm hearing. So this card does not come out a lot. So I feel like you guys could be attending a wedding or marriages on your mind. You guys are really focused on what you want your future to be. But remember, Spirit is saying enjoy the present. So if you are getting married and you're engaged at this time, I want to send a big shout out of congratulations. Enjoy it. I hope your day is magical and beautiful and serene and all that you want it to be and more. You deserve a beautiful marriage, especially a lot of you guys have come from like um, broken homes or 
broken hearts and different things of that nature. So you're going to attract a long-term partnership and marriage. And I feel like you guys are manifesting like the 10 of cups. That's the energy I'm getting that dream life, having it all a successful business, a great marriage, wonderful children, just success and happiness all around. So somebody could be attracted here to a married person. Be careful with that. Cause you guys did get the attraction card uh, from the romance angels. So I will say this, there's nothing wrong with being attracted to people. Just maintain respect, professionalism, maintain your honor, loyalty, and integrity to yourself and continue to respect other people's uh, boundaries and marriages as well. A lot of you guys will be getting a new partner coming in. Your new partner may have had similar, very similar experiences of yours. So I'm almost getting like twin flame soulmate energy. So you guys may be manifesting this is, is when I'm getting somebody on a higher level that can maintain and match your fly. And I, I feel like you will have that. I feel like you guys will have like a true telepathic communication or connection. I feel like, um, you know, you want somebody who is complete and I don't, I don't believe people complete us. I believe we come complete, especially after we've done our healing. But for those who haven't done healing, you want somebody who helps you to complete yourself, not to be the puzzle piece to complete you because you're already wholesome. You're already complete. But I think you guys want somebody who's a really good friend, somebody who's spiritual, somebody who, you know, picks up the pace, picks up the pieces, steps in where you need them to, you know, somebody very mature. Okay. Somebody very reliable is what I'm getting and enthusiastic about marriage and, and loyalty. Somebody who's on your vibration and who wants children. You, they may have already um, had children, you too, but you may have kids together as well. So this is beautiful, beautiful energy. I love it. I just feel like somebody's really about to get their life, like everything they want in it, the things they really want it. Because you may have had to, somebody may have held you back. That's what I'm getting from like true happiness, true love, true peace, you know, but you're not allowing that anymore. Not anymore. It's like the fun, lively, magnetic, powerful part of you is coming back. I love this. You could meet this person on the job through work as well. I feel like a lot of you wouldn't mind like working with your partner as long as it's not like, as long as nobody has control issues is what I'm hearing. As long as it's like dual, it's equal, it's fair, it's highly respectful. I like this energy though. Let's see, but be careful with, you know, mixing business with pleasure. I will say that just do pray on everything and do what you guys feel is best. Your advice here is anger. Wow. Interesting. So there could be some pent up anger. Somebody might be blaming you for something or they may be taking their anger or frustration out on you. You guys may have some built up anger inside that you guys need to release in a positive way. If you have that built up, Find positive ways to release it. Go for a jog, exercise, give yourself positive affirmations, write about it, do some journaling, you know, do some prayers, start your altar, get some candles, have a spiritual bath or something like that. You know, find positive ways to release this anger. Maybe go to the gym and, you know, punch on the punching bags, you know, something like that. But um, you may be feeling like you have been wronged, like somebody just, it's, it's bigger than a disappointment. It's bigger than that. It's 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 a lot of pain here too. So somebody may be coming in to argue with you. Try to avoid arguments with people that you're in a disagreement with. Sometimes it's okay to agree to disagree. Okay, try to come to positive resolutions and a compromise if you can. But there is somebody immature, so I get it. These people are very hard to work with. You're always forced to be the bigger person. But it's better for you to do what's right and stand in your character and shine and be acknowledged for somebody being strong, patient, and respectful than somebody immature. Don't become what they are. Don't give people a show. You're already a star. Just be who you are is what I'm hearing. Be who you are. You're amazing. Okay? You're amazing. Be graceful. Don't let anybody take your respect from you. So 
keep your cool. So I'm here and keep your temper in check because somebody may do something to anger you. You don't want to put yourself in a position where you're observed and everything you worked for is diminished or tarnished because somebody else is a fool or somebody else is a clown. Let the clown fall on their own and they will. But definitely, you can definitely stand in your truth. But um, I mean, temper your fire. Temper your fire. Don't um, don't let this person get the best of you or bring out the worst in you. You know, pray for them. You may have to tell somebody, I'll keep you in prayer. Or I wish you well. Or we can just agree to disagree. No need to argue. Let's move forward. How do we move forward in a positive light? Keep it on that high vibration. Okay. Let's see what's happening with family members, people around you. Could also be you. His purpose is here. I love it. You guys are very driven to walk your purpose. And I feel like people around you feel the same energy. For those who are doing the work, they are healing, awakening. It's like, um, it's a spiritual journey. And you're going to discover a lot about your life purpose, what you're here to do in this season of your life, what brings you more happiness and pleasure. So you guys will see that you're very resilient as well. And I think you guys know that you're very courageous. People see you as very strong minded and you guys have a lot of willpower. So keep looking for the signs and the messages and the meanings in life. You will find it. Talk to God about what you're here to do. How can you serve him? How can you be of use and how you how can you help other people? And stay on track. You will bless others. And I feel like you guys will be blessed. So you're very purpose driven at this time. And continue to do the soul work. This is the hardest work. The soul work is the hardest. And a lot of people don't like to do this work. They'd rather be immature. They'd rather be in a negative mindset. But you are here to vibe much higher. So walk in spirit. Bathe in divinity. Keep learning about God and yourself. Because I feel like you guys are destined for good karma. You guys are destined for your spiritual training to pay off in more peace and happiness for yourself and for the people you care about, for others as well. So look for blessings and increases with money. A lot more zen. I'm hearing a lot more peace. A lot of you guys just want more peace because you suffered so much. Believe me, you know people are going to reap what they have sown. They're going to reap their karma for hurting you. Stay positive so that you attract more positive beings. Because you guys are very enlightened. You're enlightened souls. And you know you have a higher purpose here. Whatever you do, it's going to be big and you're going to do it well. And nothing will stop you. Just don't let people get the best of you. Because they will try you. They will test you. Don't be tempted to stoop to their level. You're past that already. You're better than that. I'm hearing look to the rainbows and look to the angels. So that's uh, rainbows are about blessings and being divinely guided to them. Don't let anybody block your blessings or stop you from getting what's yours because they can't have it because they didn't do the spiritual work because they didn't walk their path and purpose. Continue to walk yours. You have divine support and guidance. You will have your needs met. You know, cancel out all negativity. That's what I'm hearing. Focus on the good and the light. Your outcome is crossroads, so you guys are going to have to make some decisions and some choices. Not everybody can come with you on your path. They don't deserve it, or they've come as far as they can go because you've gotten all the lessons you were supposed to get out of them, so kudos to you. When you guys are in a place of indecision, this is a great time to ask questions, talk to people, definitely consult with spirit always, first and foremost. Look at the long-term benefits and opportunities and possibilities ahead of you weigh your options weigh the odds and once you decide to go for something pray about it and let yourself have it you know dive in go for it okay scorpio this has been your reading for the month of December, your 2022. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as humanly possible. I'm sending you all a lot of sunlight, success, prosperity, lots and lots of peace, empowerment, and of course, abundance. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. Bye, Scorpio.